Have you ever wondered how goldfish reproduce? Today, we will embark on a captivating journey, unraveling the complexities and marvels of the goldfish reproductive system. This natural process, full of intricate details and fascinating stages, is a testament to the wonders of life itself. Goldfish, those vibrant, shimmering creatures that grace our aquariums and ponds, have a reproductive system that is as fascinating as they are beautiful. Just like us, they have males and females, each playing a distinct role in the propagation of their species. In our forthcoming exploration, we will delve into the female and male goldfish reproductive systems, each with their unique parts and functions. We'll delve into the spawning process, a ballet of nature where pheromones, nudges, and the release of eggs and sperm culminate in the creation of new life. We will also voyage through the life cycle of goldfish eggs, from their protective corian coating to the moment they hatch into tiny goldfish fry. It's a journey that will leave you in awe of the resilience and adaptability of these tiny creatures. But it's not all about the biology. The success of goldfish reproduction hinges on various factors, temperature, water quality, and the overall health of the fish. We'll touch on these elements, underscoring the importance of providing optimal conditions and a suitable breeding environment for these aquatic wonders. The aim of our exploration is not just to impart knowledge, but to foster a deeper appreciation for these remarkable creatures. By understanding the intricacies of their reproductive system, we can marvel at the wonders of life and the natural world. So sit back and prepare to dive into the fascinating world of goldfish reproduction. It's a journey that promises to be as enlightening as it is intriguing. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Let's begin with the female goldfish, a marvel of nature's design. The heart of reproduction lies in a specialized organ known as the cloaca. This versatile hub serves dual purposes, handling both waste elimination and reproductive functions. It's like the multitasker of the goldfish world. Now nestled within this cloaca are two key players in the reproduction game the ovary and the oviduct. Picture the ovary as a bustling nursery where immature eggs are produced and nurtured. It's a safe haven where these potential new lives get their start. But these eggs can't stay in the ovary forever. They're destined for bigger things, and that's where the oviduct comes into play. The oviduct is like the highway of the goldfish's reproductive system, a direct route for the eggs to make their grand exit. When the time is right, these eggs embark on their journey, traveling down this passageway and out into the open water. It's a perilous journey, but one that's essential for the continuation of the species. And remember, this isn't a solo operation. The male goldfish play an equally important role in this process, but we'll delve into that in our next scene. The female goldfish, with its intricate reproductive system, plays a crucial role in the continuation of the species. It's a beautifully complex system, one that showcases the wonders of nature and the marvels of life. From the nurturing ovary to the efficient oviduct, every part of the female goldfish's reproductive system works in harmony to ensure the survival and flourishing of these enchanting creatures. The magic of life, the dance of creation, all begins here in the humble body of a female goldfish. And it's this beauty, this intricacy, that we aim to celebrate and understand, because in understanding, we not only gain knowledge, but also a deeper appreciation for the world around us. So let's continue to explore, to learn, and to marvel at the wonders of nature, one goldfish at a time. Now let's turn our attention to the male goldfish. His role in the reproductive process, while less visible than that of the female, is no less vital. In the male goldfish, the principal organ of reproduction is the testes, a pair of elongated structures nestled within the body. These are the factories where sperm, also known as milt, is produced. The testes, in all their intricate glory, are capable of producing a staggering number of sperm, a testament to the goldfish's prolific nature. From the testes, the sperm journey through a series of ducts, the vasa deferentia, or sperm ducts. These ducts act as a highway, guiding the sperm towards their ultimate destination, the urogenital papilla. This might seem like a long and winding road, but it's all part of nature's grand design to ensure the survival of the species. The urogenital papilla, a small protrusion located near the vent, plays a pivotal role in the release of the sperm. During the spawning process, the male goldfish extends this papilla, releasing the sperm into the surrounding water. 
It's a bit like a miniature fountain, spouting forth life in the form of millions of microscopic sperm. But the male's role doesn't end with the release of sperm. Once the female goldfish releases her eggs into the water, the male follows suit, releasing his milt. The milt, carried by the water, finds the eggs, and fertilization occurs. It's a dance as old as time, choreographed by nature herself. Thus, the male goldfish, with its own unique reproductive system, is an essential participant in the spawning process. His contribution, while less visible, is no less important. The dance of life, as it plays out in the world of goldfish, is a duet, a harmonious union of male and female, each playing their part in the continuance of their species. So the next time you gaze at a goldfish, remember the intricate processes happening within. These tiny creatures with their vibrant colors and graceful movements are not just beautiful to behold, they're also marvels of nature's design. With both male and female ready, nature takes its course. Let's dive into the fascinating event that is the spawning process. When the environmental conditions are just right, the female goldfish signals her readiness to spawn. This is done through the release of pheromones into the water. These chemical signals are similar to invisible whispers in the aquatic world, conveying the message of I'm ready to the males nearby. In response to these pheromones, the male goldfish springs into action. He begins to pursue the female, not in a predatory sense, but as an eager participant in the dance of life. One of the most intriguing aspects of this chase is the nudging of the female's abdomen by the male. This nudging is far from playful. It is a strategic action designed to induce the release of eggs from the female. As the female goldfish releases her eggs into the water, the male joins in this vital moment. He extends his urogenital papilla, releasing a cloud of sperm into the water. This cloud, while seemingly chaotic, is teeming with life's potential, each sperm seeking out an egg to fertilize. The eggs, now floating in the water, pass through this cloud of sperm. The moment a sperm encounters an egg, fertilization occurs. This union marks the beginning of a new life, a new goldfish encapsulated within the protective walls of the egg. This intricate dance of nature, from the release of pheromones to the fertilization of eggs, is a spectacle of life's enduring cycle. It's an awe-inspiring process that reveals the complexity and beauty of goldfish reproduction. Every step in this process, every nudge and release, is crucial to the survival of the species. It's a testament to the resilience and adaptability of these remarkable creatures. By understanding the spawning process, we gain a deeper appreciation for the wonders of life and the delicate balance that sustains it. This intricate dance of nature results in the creation of a new generation of goldfish. Once fertilized, the goldfish eggs embark on a remarkable journey. In a matter of moments, the eggs develop a protective layer known as the corion. This isn't just any shell, it's a life-sustaining envelope providing the embryos with the conditions they need to thrive. The chorion also gives the eggs a unique buoyancy, allowing them to float within the water. This isn't just for show, it's an essential part of the survival strategy. By floating, the eggs can avoid predators lurking on the bottom, and more importantly, they can stay closer to the oxygen-rich surface, ensuring they have all they need to grow. After several days, these floating orbs of life reveal their true treasure. The eggs hatch, releasing tiny goldfish fry into the world. These tiny, almost transparent creatures are the next generation of goldfish, ready to continue the cycle of life. From egg to fry, the life cycle of a goldfish is a miraculous process. Goldfish reproduction, while fascinating, is also influenced by various factors. Temperature, for instance, plays a critical role. Goldfish typically spawn in the spring, when water temperatures rise, triggering a hormonal response in the fish. A consistent temperature between 10 and 20 degrees Celsius is ideal for goldfish breeding. Water quality, too, is a key determinant. Goldfish require clean, well-oxygenated water to reproduce. High levels of ammonia or nitrates can stress the fish and impair their reproductive capabilities. Regular water changes and good filtration are crucial to maintain optimal water conditions. Lastly, the overall health of the goldfish can significantly influence their ability to reproduce. A balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals contributes to healthy egg and sperm production. Regular health checks can also help detect and treat any potential illnesses early. 
successful reproduction requires optimal conditions and a suitable environment. After all, creating the right circumstances for life to flourish is a delicate art in itself. Understanding the goldfish reproductive system gives us a deeper appreciation for these captivating creatures. Today, we have navigated through a world that is as fascinating as it is complex, from the specialized organs of both male and female goldfish to the intricate process of spawning. We started our journey with the female goldfish and her unique reproductive organ, the cloaca. Here, we discovered the ovary's role in producing and storing eggs and the oviduct's function as a gateway for egg release. Next, we turned our attention to the male goldfish, where we explored the role of the testes in sperm production and the vasa deferentia's function in transporting sperm to the urogenital papilla. Here, the sperm is released into the water, ready for fertilization. The spawning process, triggered by favorable environmental conditions and signaled by pheromones, revealed a dance of nature. The male goldfish nudges the female, inducing egg release, and in the water, the magic of life begins as the eggs are fertilized. We followed this journey further to the development of the fertilized eggs. We learned about the protective corian that allows the eggs to float and ensure proper oxygenation. And after several days, we witnessed the birth of tiny goldfish fry. We also acknowledged the importance of several factors that influence goldfish reproduction. Temperature, water quality, and the overall health of the fish play crucial roles in ensuring successful reproduction. By delving into these intricacies, we gained not only knowledge, but a profound respect for the marvels of life and nature. These tiny, beautiful creatures hold a world of wonder within their life cycles. And understanding this, is a testament to our shared curiosity and thirst for knowledge. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of goldfish reproduction. Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of life.